Hey, hey, Tony Gas is here. You know, a lot of you wrote me about the passing of the gentleman, Kevin Samuels. And um, I never really speak people's names. And this is a little different. And I know it's a lot of mixed feelings. And I'm not a woman, so I have no clue what women feel like women who were offended by him. I could understand the offense, but I have no clue like what it feels like internally, the depths of it. You know, I have a wife and, you know, she's never mentioned him or said anything, but I know how hard it is. Like if I hurt her feelings, if I say some, you know, in our marriage that hurts her feelings and I see that, and I'm not sure how it was taken, you know, by women, but, me being someone who talks online, uh, I wish I could retire from it, to be honest with you. And, um, but it's like, you know that somebody could benefit from the message, so you keep talking. And I try to live it, you know, the best I can. When I say live it, I mean like, not about being faithful and all of that, but just when you when you online and you're in front of people, you deal with a lot. And I'm not even hated, like I'm not, I really don't, I'll be honest with you, I really don't get hate online. Like, you know, every now and then you have people that of course disagree with you, but it's not like hate. But with with that gentleman, it was a, it was a lot of fans, but it was, I feel like equal or greater hate. I, I feel like it was more hate because I started to see posts here recently and somebody will send me the post and I'll click on the comments and it'll literally be 99% hate. Just disagreeance. And um, I could imagine the, the stress that that caused on an individual. And typically we are something different online than we are in real life. So we either better, like we better online. You know, I'm better online than I am in real life. And I'm trying to have my real life catch up to online in the sense of when you're online, people just see your high moments. They just see your they just see your good. They don't see your low moments. They don't see your bad. And that's why I try to be transparent about that and tell people never put anybody on a pedestal. Never worship anybody. Never look up to a human. Look up to God, you know, and glean what you can glean from somebody. If it's if the words help you, help you, but never put a human on a pedestal. And I could, you know, I'm imperfect with praise. I could only imagine what it'll be like with praise and with hate. And with it being like equal or maybe even more hate and some of the stuff that's said. And then to have other people who are large in the space, you know, come at you and, you know, attack you verbally or what have you. I remember one time a blogger attacked me um, over a, a joke I posted but she turned it into something like as if it was serious and her tribe just was like roasting me for like three hours and that thing hurt that thing hurt bad like cyberbullying it hurt bad and I think at the end of the day everybody human so me I never I never like I said I don't understand the pain of the women who were you know victimized or mistreated or done wrong from men buying into the messages that the gentleman was sharing but as a Christian I don't rejoice in anybody's downfall I don't rejoice in anybody's death I don't rejoice in anybody being exposed anybody marriage failing I don't rejoice in other people failures as a Christian you know I, I pray for people and I wish everybody the best I'm gonna speak out if I don't agree but I'm not I'm not against the person, I'm against the behavior, you know, the sin. I know we all flawed, we all children of God. And I also think about the fact that, you know, the man message was what it what it was, but he got kids, you know, he probably he got friends, got cousins, you know, whoever that probably love and adore him. And the reason why I feel that way is because, yeah, you can have people that don't like you, people that mad at you for, for your online persona, but 
at the same time, I'm sure he had people that love, him, love and adore him because online we are something else. So online for shock value, you gotta be more whatever it is, you know, more of that. So if you're a villain, you gotta be more of a villain to keep going viral. If you're a nice guy, you gotta be more of a nice guy, you know, to keep keep your thing going. And so we all struggle in some way or another. And it's just me being transparent with y'all. You know, we, we all go through. And I always realized that. And that's why I was kind of like, I was sending warning shots. Like, I was sending warning shots. And this to everybody that's out there, and including myself. Like, man, don't play with God. When you know better, do better. When you find out what's right from wrong, and you know you're in the wrong, or you know you done said or done something wrong, like, get your life right. You know, get your life right. You know, my wife, she talked to me about just my communication and understanding my role as a man in the household. And even though being a provider, you know, not putting her down or making her feel less than because that's the narrative in our world. And so as men, it's easy for us to adopt this. I earn all the money, shut up and be happy. It's easy for us to adopt that. And that's what what's being pushed. And so I fell into that trap. You know, I fell into that mindset of feeling like because you earn money you everything and so i said it to say i believe every man is flawed and every man fails and every man gotta get better and so that's why i don't i can't kick nobody when they down and i can't look down on on nobody you know it's it's, it's honestly sad that i'm i'm not sure of you know his status in life as far as his belief system if if whatever you know if there was any repentance if you know we we don't know he could have been that day could have been that morning could have been the day before could have repented or whatever you just don't know and it'd be wrong to speculate i can't wish hell on nobody and wish heaven on it i wish heaven on everybody but that's between each of us and, and God. And so I said it to say, like, it's a lot of spiritual meaning to it, but it's going to mean something different to me than it means to you and vice versa. So you got to get the message that's for you and do everything you can not to be self-righteous in your discerning of the spirit. And also consider, you know, being quiet with the message that you receive because it might just be for you. It might not be for everybody. And I know the message for me, I'm still processing it. You know, I'm still processing. I'm still downloading it from, from God. And it's not necessary for me to share it in the sense of what I have got. But I also don't want to be um, arrogant enough to say that you know that this is spiritual and that that was the wrath of God like I would be wrong to say that because I don't know if that was the wrath of God I don't know if that's how God operate and that's how because a whole lot of people doing a whole lot of bad and nothing happening to them so I more so feel like a lot, a lot, a lot of stress, a whole lot of stress. And if it's any cardiac doctors can speak to if stress can cause a heart attack and, the, you know, you take stress, then I saw different clips of like, so you got the stress, you got the pressure. The videos y'all sent me, I see a bunch of Red Bull being drunk and I, I, I seen some questions to men about the size of their manhood and you know referring to his own manhood and so a lot of times when when i know as a man if if i'm loud online and i'm dealing with a woman and i'm nearing 60 i may be me personally if i was in that position i would be taking enhancement pills to make sure that i don't get exposed because i'm so loud online and if when you take 
if you taking if you taking pills any kind of pills and then you put that with stress you put that with red bull you put that with heart or with alcohol or whatever and then just hereditary it's like it's a million things that could go on and so i can't just take and say oh this is just spiritual you know i can't do that because you just never know what a person got going on in their family and they you know that their, their lifeline just genetics but one thing i do know one thing i do know from reaching millions of people online every month i do know that there's a lot of stress come with a platform a lot of stress come with a platform and it steals so much from you that you know i really didn't have i don't have a lot left for my marriage you know i don't have a lot left from giving so much of myself i don't be having a lot left and my wife was telling me about that she was like you know when, when she was substitute teaching at the school to help them out you know because she don't have to work so she was subbed in at the school and she was like when she was sub she would be so drained at the end of the day that she couldn't she didn't have no energy for our own kids and she said the same thing you know she was like sometimes when you serve and you serving so much you don't have no energy left like all all your niceness could be gone all your niceness could be gone to the world all your you know uh pleasantries could be given to other people trying to save other people and then you empty yourself and i said man i, I experienced a lot of days like that that's why sometimes y'all see me on do no videos or i'll stop doing the q a or i'll stop doing the talks with tony just trying self-preservation and a lot of times when people online and they watching you they don't think about any of that because you never could realize it until you until it's you like you never i learned this some years back never to judge anybody until i'm in their shoes so it's like what we have to think about and realize like imagine if if you've kind of been unseen your whole life imagine if you've been unseen your whole life and then from your pain or from your hurt or from your whatever you say something and now you're seen and then you're seen and you feel you feel good you feel reinforced you feel like somebody and then imagine the tide start to, to turn and now you are going back to being unseen so now to be seen again you may have to say something else you know like and you just got to keep saying and keep saying and keep saying trying to remain seen and that's a hard place because if that becomes your validation and so that's what could happen you know with influencers online is just having to do more of what they did so because everything fizzle out everything fizzle out like your favorite your favorite artist gotta go away gotta disappear and then come back so now we may see boys to men and new edition on tour and selling out arenas again but they've been around for decades and then they it was like they fell off because the music played out but then now the music is like you know classics and so now they got a rebirth and that's what happens in things so what i had to do is when i like fell off in the sense of fell off like I'm nowhere near as viral as I was in 2015, 2016. I'm nowhere, I'm not even viral. But I was literally reaching 20 million people a week. Now I may reach two to five million a month based on the impressions that you see from social media. But I was reaching 20 million a week. So it's totally different. So when the numbers change, when the algorithm change and all of that change, I could say, hey, you know, let me do something for shock value. Or, hey, let me just be super outlandish. Like, just, hey, let me just bash men like crazy because so I get more support from women or do whatever. But I just said, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay with the ebbs and flows. Like, I'm going to be okay. And ironically, my business, I earn more money now than I did when I was viral. And that's, that's the weirdest thing to me. Like, how can you be rich in 20 million people a week but earn more? when you reaching a million people a week or 500,000 people a week it's just kind of it's weird but i mean i guess i got more businesses and stuff you know more streams of income but 
a lot of times we just associate virality with money and that's not always the case because you got to think about it like even with um the brother passing he didn't have a book he didn't have a course so i got 25 courses that's 25 streams of income i got like 10 plus books selling on amazon that's another 10 plus streams of income he didn't have a course he didn't have a book not that i know of and i don't know if he had like a tribe like a paid tribe probably so the main income is like one-on-one -on -one coaching which that's about an hour so you trade your time for money you're not gonna get rich like that so you got to be able to scale so realistically your brother could have honestly been making and then youtube money okay but if you're saying stuff that's like getting flagged then you're not really making a lot of youtube money your stuff got to be pretty clean and so realistically a half a million dollars a year is is what he could have been making or less but we we would just assume oh a million two million and that's just not how it worked and me having a brand online i understand that and so i say that to say that's another thing like imagine being big but you still ain't got enough money and and so it's a lot that goes on behind the scenes with with brands with public figures it's a lot that goes on you would not imagine the spiritual warfare and you got to understand now it is spiritual in the sense of when you out here you in between you know you between the crux of good and evil so it's it's going it's going to happen both ways and, and the thing about it is too is you could be working for the devil and still get and still get killed by the devil you could be working for the devil and still that don't mean you're gonna live because the goal of the devil is to steal to kill and to destroy so what the adversary is gonna do if he is using somebody he's gonna use that person to to gain millions of followers and to upset and disrupt millions of households and families and and then he's gonna take that person to the height of the mountain and he's gonna promise them everything that they can see and it's all metaphorical it's not like a literal encounter with the devil but i mean the brand builds and then you start to earn money you start to get access you start to be celebrities so it's really like being at the mountaintop and you're seeing all this and all of this is yours. And then what the adversary is going to do, he's just going to push you in the back. Going to push you right over because now millions of people watch you fall to your death. So now all of your supporters, they're crushed. Their heart is crushed. Their mind is crushed. Their belief system is crushed. Like their God, their demigod, if that's what you would call it, their God is gone. And so they may unravel in the sense of they their mind was never changed against the message. So they carry out that message and continue to destroy women, destroy their family, destroy whatever. And then the other people who are cheering, those people are displeasing to God as well because God does not relish, does not want us to relish in the downfall of people. That's why the Bible says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So even when somebody is in the wrong, we still got to pray for their healing, for their growth, pray for their family, for their friends. That's just, that's the call. And that's it's a high calling. It's a high call. It's, it's not easy. But that's just the road I choose to walk because my spirit is on the line. Because I, I could be gone any day Tomorrow not promise So what does it reward my spirit To rejoice in somebody else's death To rejoice in somebody else's downfall That, does, that's not, that doesn't do anything for me internally that's, that's, a, that's a bitter place to operate from That's a sad place to operate from So we can't I don't recommend that Because now you keeping yourself down And you wallowing in the mud Because now you You inducing misery on yourself so it's it's a it's a tough thing man it's a tough thing and you know i'm 
I'm always in spiritual warfare just because of the message that I'm carrying and just because of what I'm doing in the world, trying to help people, whether it's finance, in finances, in, in love, in life, business. When you're trying to make the, the world a better place, you're going to go through. And I was trying to, and not, now it's not even about him, but this to all the other, all the other young brothers and sisters that's out there causing destruction and that's out there spewing a message from a place of hurt and anger or pain you know even to the women who telling women to just forget their race and leave their race and go to another race of man because they have been hurt by their own race that's not the solution and that's dangerous and then the men who keep telling women hey you nothing you worthless you know, be with a man, let and share that man. You know, share that man. It's, it's it's not just the gentleman who died who's saying that. It's thousands of men, hundreds of men, thousands of men who's saying that. Same stuff, and I'm telling you, you know, be careful because that spiritual realm. And see, it's a, it's a, it ain't like it's just. A lot of time we look at like, oh, this God, like a puppet master. No, God is a spirit. So. In the spiritual realm, what I mean is if you praised over here and you hate it over here, that's going to cause a conflict in your, in your inner person. And that stress, that uneasiness, that pain may cause you to drink alcohol. It may cause you to take pills. It may cause you to smoke weed it may cause you to do things that you would not otherwise do you might put a lot of pressure on your heart and so me personally i don't trust red bull and so but what it does tell me is if a, a person who would drink a red bull will take a pill and it's a lot of pills out here for men to extend their stamina and can you imagine the pressure on a man who is, you know, quote unquote, bashing women? Can you imagine the pressure to perform in the bedroom and what type of pills will be taken in order to make sure it's a good showing so that it's not on a blog tomorrow? That in itself is a lot of pressure. So, see, I'm looking at this thing a whole different way of the underlying you know the behind the scenes and not just if this was hereditary or if that's the word for it genetic or whatever it be you know what would be but um i'm looking at the pressure side and like y'all say pressure bust pipes and no pun intended but that's that's a very that's a very real thing and so I'm praying every day, like, Lord, you know, help me do my work. Help me to give me the strength to keep going. You know, give me the wherewithal. Help me to be a, a man for my wife, a man for my kids. Lord, give me what I need to get through. And, Lord, when, when my work is done, please show me my exit. Please show me my bridge so that I can move into something else and just let my body of work be my body of work. And, um. Because I'm telling you, you know, and this ain't no sob story. Because a lot of times people look at, oh, the money. But you've heard it before. Money don't buy happiness. They won't lie. They won't lie. Because you always need something else. You always need something else. And I'm at a point now. I done, I done had it all. It's almost like I want to sell it all. You know, and just have the bare minimum. But that ain't always... You know right either because just because i'm in that space don't mean my kids in that space or my wife in that space or you know my family in that space so it's like our our different walks and different spiritual you know encounters and experiences it's 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 unique it's unique to you what you feeling and what you're going through in the spiritual realm i may not understand and vice versa so hey Y'all forgive me for talking so much. Apologize. Just wanted to touch on it because I I know I don't want to keep hearing from a million people about, about this. And and I'm going to tell you the type of guy that I, the per, type of person that I am, I don't like that kind of stuff. Like, 
rejoicing in people's downfall or their death. And so I deleted my, my little parody that I did on YouTube. I deleted it just out of respect to his friends and his family. And I don't believe in, I don't believe in, and I've, I have failed at this now, but I don't believe at, in repaying people with what they paid you. Like, I don't, I don't believe in stooping to somebody level. I believe in having them elevate to your level. And so I know it's going to be a lot of women who are happy and, you know, rejoicing and that's what you get for talking about us like that but you know I'm hoping that healing is found and that healing and wholeness and blessings abound so hey this is Tony Gaskins God bless you we'll talk soon